So let's just t- touch on Bard real quick. Um, Bard also uh, has many similarities. And so you're going to have some of the same uh, functions and same uses. It's almost like a Ford Chevy argument. There's people that swear by Ford, people that swear by Chevy, and then you got the Dodge guys that come in there and uh, ruin it for everybody. But there's going to be multiple players at the table on this place, and Bard is definitely somebody that's leading the pack in trying to research how it can be uh, applied in different areas. So the goal is to find an area that you know enough about your industry that you can be the expert and vet out the content but then you prompt it for more information uh, on the creative side that will give you ideas. So it can help improve customer service by providing quick and accurate answers to customers. You can pre-program it with a phone tree or you can build into a phone tree that just says when a customer gets online, you can say, hey, are, we, are you here for customer service? Are you here for sales? Are you here for support? What's going on? And uh, it can pre-screen that for you before it gets it over to the right person. It can also help you make better business decisions, again, by providing that data that you can plug in for specifics. I've already used it for uh, a number of uh, uh, emails. If I needed to send out a sensitive email or needed to send out a, a prospecting email to a customer, I plugged it in there first and said, do you have any ideas on this? And it gave me some really good responses. I didn't use all of them, but some of them were fantastic. So anyway, you can definitely plug in data that's going to give you uh, uh, more insight into what your customers are using or what they might be using.